Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Life with CC. Today I'm making a spray for my itchy scalp. Tune in and let's do this. For this scalp cleanser, I will be using rice water as well as peppermint oil and also tea tree oil. These are all really great for the scalp. I also add apple cider vinegar, which is diluted. See details below. So first I'm going to add the rice water and rice water is full of amino acids that help regenerate the hair for extreme hair growth and it has vitamins B, C, and E which also help with hair growth and also this apple cider vinegar it helps with itchy scalp and also dandruff so it's rich in iron and calcium and also manganese and that's really uh, nice for your hair too. You're not only keeping it clean, but you're also adding vitamins to your scalp, which helps with hair growth. The tea tree oil unclogs hair follicles, follicles and removes buildup of dead skin cells and also protects the scalp from infections. I love peppermint oil because it soothes itchy scalp and stimulates hair growth and also protects the hair roots as well. So now I am ready to put my cleansing spray on my scalp. So you'll notice that I do not have a towel. What I've realized is that if I moisten my hair really well with a spray before doing anything to it, then the dry shebe bits and pieces will not fall out and make a huge mess. And so if this works for me, you should try it. Alright, so I'm going to just go ahead and work this liquid, which is the rice water, into my hair and get those curls popping. And also I am detangling my hair a bit because I'm going to use that uh, comb pick to part my hair. entire process of cleansing my scalp takes about an hour or so. So just make sure you set aside some time so that you can give your scalp a proper massage. Now in terms of the second technique, uh, this actually, so you have some options of how to cleanse your scalp. The problem I find with using the cotton round is that I just, <laughs> I find myself picking out uh, bits and pieces of cotton, but it's not a big deal. So just do whatever suits you. 
feel free to comment below. Tell me how you're cleansing your hair. If you have braids or if you're using the shea process, are you washing your hair often? Or are you letting it just do its thing? And uh, are you seeing some major growth with any technique that you're using? Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.